I don't think I can do that with this most gorgeous things. Postponed it to next week though. Something I've ever really done before, something I'd really like to do for me. Um, what have I got over here? really showed up lots of different things. I sat on the wrong platform right until... So we're back, this is my old... Do it if you get the opportunity. Good morning and welcome to another week. I've been working from home today. I did my workout this morning. You will be very impressed with me. Uh, I did my weights and then I went on the bike for 15 minutes, which is really good. If you haven't followed these vlogs for a long time, you probably won't know that I absolutely hate exercise, but I do like eating and drinking. So I am on a new regime at the moment. I'm on an eight week program with a company who I'm working with. I'll put a link to them below. They're called Oakman Coaching. Just had my feedback from last week. And basically what it is, is you get a app when you join up to their program and you have to program in your food. They send you your workouts on it. You can take before photos, after photos, all your measurements are on it. Every time you walk, it comes through. It's actually really, really clever. I have really found it quite useful to see everything written out. They can give you feedback on there. You can message them and they answer within 24 hours. It's pretty good. And so far, I found it really easy to use. I'm very dyslexic, so all these things are always quite a struggle for me all the time. However, I found it quite user friendly, but I am not very good at inputting my food, especially this weekend. I basically drank too much, I was gonna say drank too much cheese, drank too much wine and Prosecco and ate too much cheese. And I kind of didn't want to admit it on there. So I didn't put it in. And then I feel a bit bad now. So basically, I'm gonna put up a video now from my feedback where lovely Ryan has come on to the screen and he's basically said, you need to input your food properly so I can give you proper advice. And you see you're actually pretty close to, the, uh, to your overall caloric goal, but your fats are still quite high. So you are using quite a lot of high fat things um, and not really using much um, uh, much in the way of protein. So um, protein is gonna be the thing that really satiates you throughout the day. Um, it's not vastly high in calories, um, it's especially when you're using like lean protein sources. So one, uh, one good instance would be uh, your dinner, right? So if we look at that, very, very small amount of that is your, um, is your protein source, which is chicken breast. So I'm going to play with that uh, with this one day and show you how we can uh, make that look a little better. That is exactly what I'm going to be doing this week. My plan is to do that. I'm just trying to find some better light. It's gone a bit grey here in Yorkshire. The whole weekend was boiling, so we had uh, my little boy's birthday party and we went to a laser quest. <coughs> Sorry about that, I just smashed a candle. So yeah, this weekend we had my little boy's laser quest party, which was great. I'm just pleased it's done now, am I allowed to say that? I just find them all so stressful, parties and organising them and thinking, have I booked the right day? Have I invited? all the right children on the right day you know all those sorts of things just go through my head i think everyone came and thought it was a success i've now got millions of thank you cards to write though so anyway i've done one birthday next birthdays are not until february so i've got a breather Whew, these birthday parties knock it out of me anyway going back to my coaching so i need to be better this week at documenting exactly what i eat and so you input the calories into this app and you can scan the back of barcodes and it comes up it's really good actually and majority i think about 90 percent of the stuff i've scanned in it's on there some random things that i've scanned it's like don't know what that is but then you just input it automatically by yourself. I also need to be more consistent with my steps as well. In fact, trying to close all three rings, which I did not do over the weekend. Even my husband went out late because he hadn't closed his rings and did a walk. And I was like, I can't be asked for that. So I'm going to try and be better. And this weekend, I'm going to try and be better at inputting what I actually do drink and what I actually do eat. And I think that's probably a big factor for me. I just sort of go off the rails at the weekend. Anyway, I don't think I can do that with this. I've got to be good. And I really want to just try and get that bit below. I haven't been as small as this since pre-children. And I've still got, I don't want to show you, things that shouldn't be there. So 
I've always got to this stage of the past and then I've just given up, but I'm gonna continue. And it's quite good to have Ryan there motivating me to continue on. Otherwise by this stage now, I'll have just given up and gone, oh, I can't be bothered. So I'm gonna keep going. Tomorrow, wait for it, I'm going to go and have a tennis lesson. I'm slightly nervous. I've kind of booked this all online and I played tennis when I was younger really badly. I'm not very good at all because I obviously didn't like sport, but I'm going to do it tomorrow and see what, it, what it's like. And I'm thinking maybe that'd be better for me as a sport. I just hate gym, I hate swimming, I hate all sports. So we're gonna try this one, see what happens. So before I go, um, the lovely team at Crew Clothing have sent some things. They send Rafferty the most gorgeous things. I love the boys' clothing for Crew Clothing. Look at this. So cute. And then little denim shirts, some chinos, and then a coat, which is here. Just really gorgeous stuff. I love the quality. They always fit really well. And they just look so cute and smart. Anyway, some bits and pieces have arrived for me as well, including these boots which are really nice. I love the kind of chocolate brown colour. They look mega comfy as well and not too tight around here. I have quite a few boots, but I find them, they're really close to your leg and quite tight. So I prefer this kind of look at the moment, a bit more casual. They look really nice, don't they? And then I've got a few tops here. I'll get them out to show you. So I've got these two here. So this is a jumper, which is a really nice jumper. It's not too thick, um, but it feels like it's soft and not uh, heavy or itchy. So this is called multi-cable jumper. And I would say it's more of a cream color than a white, but it's gonna be good for autumn, winter. I thought I might team it with this. So this is rather cute, isn't it? It is a cord skirt, lovely little pockets here, and it's quite a nice A-line, but short. So I'm hoping that will work quite well with like polo necks underneath for winter or autumn, I should say. Um, then this jumpsuit, this is all on the website now um, and this just looks like it's going to be really easy to wear. Um, really nice and it's, it looks a bit like it's cropped as well because jumpsuits for me are quite tricky because I'm really short. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that on. And then this coat, which looks really silly in this weather but I bet you I'm gonna get lots of wear out of this. It looks like it's black, is it black or blue? And oh, no, it's navy, there we go. Anyway, I love a coat like this, especially for standing on the side of the rugby pitch or the football pitch, that'll be me. So I'm gonna be wearing this. Really quite cozy it looks, doesn't it? Uh, they've also sent a few things to my husband and the girls, so I will show you those in due course. For now though, I'm just going to sneak out for a walk. I've been at my computer all day and I'm beginning to get a headache. So I'm going to head out for a quick walk, come back, sort out some winter wardrobe stuff. I've got clothes everywhere at the moment. And then I am going to get ready for them coming back. My little boy starts beavers today. So excited for him. Everybody I know that's been to Beavers, they're all like, oh, he'll love it. He'll love it. My kids loved it. Um, my girls love brownies and uh, they did rainbows as well and they loved it. So I am really hope he's going to love it. I think he's going to be a bit nervous. He's not very good like at going to things on his own. Luckily, he's got one of his friends going. So I hope that's going to help. But I'm a bit nervous for him. So I'm going to take him down to that later on and then they don't finish till seven. So it's going to be absolutely knackered, poor thing. <sighs> so I must get on with my walk and I will speak to you all hopefully later on. Good morning um, from a very, very wet Yorkshire. What happened to the sunshine? I feel really bad, I complained so much that it decided to just pour. So I think it's about 100% rain today. Oh, it's miserable. So I, I'm hiding in the garage because I'm gonna go into the gym. I'm actually gonna do my workout today for tomorrow because tomorrow I've got a really busy day. I've got meetings in the morning and then I've got my hair and then I've got another meeting in the afternoon. So I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna get it done now rather than squeezing it in tomorrow and not doing it properly. And my tennis has been cancelled. So I'm rather upset. We've postponed it to next week though. 
So we'll take you with me for that, of course. But for now, gosh, it's just miserable, isn't it? Oh, I'm hiding in the garage with the rabbit. Anyway, let me take you into the gym and show you what I'm up to. So welcome to our gym. This is our gym. These are our suitcases. So it's in a section of our garage. We've got a big double garage. I'm not gonna show you because I'm actually horrified at what it looks like. But you can imagine if this is the suitcases. My husband cut out a kind of back square of the garage to make a gym. Um, and he did this in lockdown and then we used it a bit and then we didn't really use it. And now I'm back in here because it's obviously miserable weather. So this is where I've been doing lots of my workouts with uh, my personal trainer. Um, so I have all my workouts obviously on my phone or I can put them up onto the TV here. And this is the equipment that we've got. So we've basically got a really basic running machine, which I think we've had for almost about 10 years now. It doesn't really go up that high. It's it's just a normal running machine. I've got Lydia on the screen there because I love to watch a bit of YouTube whilst I'm doing it. I need background noise. I think I've got a, a sensory problem. Um, then we've got our bench here with all our weights, which are down here. Bands, more weights and things like that down there. I've got my battery power cord there because I run out of battery all the time. I think I've broken my phone. Um, and then we've got the Peloton bike here, which we got, I think, probably mm, Easter sort of time. And I have been using it. Those of you that have followed me for quite a while will know uh, that I've been on it. I don't really know what I'm doing on it. I don't really enjoy it. But anyway, I do it. Um, and the workout's pretty good. My husband's got his iPad up there because he has been, he does workouts in the evening. He tends to do it at night. So he, I don't know what he, he brings in his iPad or he reads his book whilst he's on the on the bike. Um. Anyway, this is the space where I work and uh, work out. I don't work here, and I try and get as much kind of fitness done as I can. So I'm about to use these here, and I think I kind of need a longer bar stick. Don't know what they're called because I've got to do some like lying down and lifting up. I'm a bit like, oh, can I do it? Anyway, I'm on it today. I've got no excuse. It's pouring with rain. I've already done most of my emails. So I need to just get on and do it. I'm just, can you tell I really don't want to do it? So I'm just kind of talking to you instead. Anyway, let's do it. Um, I made it back from Leeds so this morning I went to go and get my hair done which I'm really pleased with I went a little bit darker so I've had some darker tones put through in the summer I like to go really blonde obviously my natural hair color is a lot darker than this you probably can't see it anymore thank goodness it's like 
very dark brown and I've tried before to go dark brown and it just doesn't work so I'm going to gradually take it slowly darker for winter autumn winter and then I'll brighten it up again um I absolutely love my hairdresser he's amazing if you're looking for a hairdresser uh, he works at a place called Tint in Leeds it's a really cool place and he's called James so I, I give him a massive shout out every time I go I'll try and put a screenshot on here of my hair so you can see what it looks like when it was done anyway then I potted around the shops and had a quick look which I really should have rushed back to get on with work but I thought do you know what I'm hardly ever in town I'm gonna go and have a look at some shops I went and got a new concealer from Charlotte Tilbury and a few bits in Primark for the girls I'll show you them now and just had a generally like nice afternoon it wasn't raining for once it was just a really nice thing to do just me on my own so i also went into harvey nichols and i tried on some sunglasses which is not something i've ever really done before i've always uh, that's not a lie actually well before i had children i had very nice sunglasses very nice handbags and I worked really hard and had some really nice things and then when I had children for about 10 years I'd say more actually how old's my eldest 11 I just haven't really bothered with myself I've just always bought things for them put them first not bothered about me and now I feel like now it's kind of like my turn to be back to me so anyway i tried on some sunglasses and at the moment i'm walking around with primark sunglasses which don't get me wrong are great and i love primark sunglasses especially as they get broken they get sat on they get squashed at the bottom of the bag and all those sorts of things and i thought do you know what actually i need to invest in a proper pair of really nice sunglasses because for me now it's almost like a piece of jewellery sunglasses it's like a watch or earrings or a necklace it's another accessory which you pretty much wear most of the year because of you know the light and the sunshine especially when you're driving so I thought to myself do you know what I feel like my next investment piece should be that so I did try quite a few on and I found one pair that I liked and I was quite shocked at the price I was like oh this has gone up since before kids um so i think it's going to be something that i need to either find um i don't know on vintage or ebay or i save up but it's just something that i think you know something i'd really like to do for me so i'm gonna keep that in the back of my head and try and manifest some really nice sunglasses Anyway, let me show you some of the things I bought so you can uh, get an idea. In fact, it's really not very exciting, but my girls are gonna be excited. Just changed locations in the hope that this light is slightly better. I'm not sure if it is. So I bought this uh, Away Magic Liquid Concealer. It's kind of like the one you twist and then it comes out the top. I haven't really tried it yet, but I'm gonna try it. And then, just gonna get that focus for you. I will come back to you because now I have three concealers of theirs. One's running out, so that's why I justified this buy. Um, but as you know, I'm a massive fan of Charlotte Tilbury and their makeup and it just makes me feel so much better. So anyway, I will let you know how I get on with that. Then I went to Primark. So I wear pearl earrings pretty much every day. It's kind of like my thing. I love them. And once upon a time, I did have some real pearl earrings and I don't know what happened to them. They fall out lots. The earrings are really hard. So I decided that I would get some of these. So every time I go to Primark, not every time, but every year or something, I buy some of these. I buy them for my mum as well. Um, two pounds, you can't go wrong. And if they fall out, it doesn't matter. If they get lost, who cares? So if you're in the market for pearl earrings, they always have them in and they're great. I got some gloves. You can't go wrong with Primark gloves either. So these are one pound for two and we're always short of gloves one gets lost something happens um so i reckon the kids maybe the older older girls could fit in these as well so i'm going to keep those safe for winter then my daughter has asked for a load of scrunchies i think scrunchies are coming back so i picked up these two pounds fifty so we've got different colors there and then these black ones which they can wear for school i think obviously scrunchies are back didn't they are but they are some claw clips because apparently they're back too top one I'm going to keep for me and then I will give the others to the black one to the girls and then I got hair brushes things like this you really can't go wrong with 90p and a pound for some reason we lose hair brushes a bit like how we lose one sock 
we have no hairbrushes. So in the morning, we're running around going, where are the hairbrushes? So we've got one for Matilda, one for Phoebe. Done with the hairbrushes. And then I've just got millions of other hair bubbles and things. But Primark have got such a good range of all different things like that, especially for kind of teenage girls. I had a quick look in H&M. That's their new favourite shop. And I found a few bits and pieces in there for them. I'll show them later. Uh, but anyway, it was just a really nice trip. I didn't feel too rough. I just got back and um, I did an Audi shop on the way home. So I've got loads of different things here. This I thought looked quite nice. Tempura chicken. I always buy some salmon when I'm in there. And then, oh, it says trout. I thought it was salmon. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be nice. And then I've got something for our roast on Sunday. We normally do roast chicken or a roast of some sort. I thought, actually, this is quite easy. We've got a load of parties on Sunday. All my fruit and veg, I love buying an Audi because it's really cheap and very reasonable. Um, salad, I buy lots of. I'm trying to think of anything exciting. I put a few bits away. I've got potatoes for our roast. Um, what have I got over here? I always buy fairy. This was on offer in there. And then I just bought these dishwasher tablets. That's all they had in. And I thought, do you know what? Let's give them a go. This is non-alcoholic beer. It is so cheap. My husband loves non-alcoholic beer. So I bought this for him. He's already had it before and he says it tastes really good and it's really reasonable. I also, oh, sausages, yogurt. I also popped to Cook. So there's a new Cook that's open near us and this is one of my favorite shops. I absolutely love Cook. If you don't know it, it is saves so much time. It's really delicious food. And it just means that when you're in a rush like me, you can just quickly whack it in and you know you're going to get something good and instant. So I'm going to try this tonight. This is new. Uh, Scottish salmon with crab and lemon. The kids are going to have sausages with little bread. I don't know what you call them. Bread rolls. My children have a cooked meal at school. They're really lucky and it's always sounds absolutely amazing. So I tend to do quick teas in the week. So they don't get back until after five. So it's always like a massive mission. So my husband and I will have this together later. And I'm just going to do a big salad with it. because so I'm looking forward to trying this. Anyway, now I really right. need to do some work before they all arrive back home. The kitchen is really tidy, which is fantastic. Shall I show you around? Hold on. So I'm trying to sort out the space. We've got some more logs that have arrived here. I've collaborated with a company called Home Fire and they send me lovely logs and fire starters and things like that. So I'm going to try and build up this wall so the whole of this is covered with logs, but loads of it has arrived downstairs. So I think that's going to be a job for tonight. And then I'm really not sure what to do with this space. So behind here, I think I want a sideboard and I want to put these two big Neptune lamps. Can you see that? Neptune lamps on it on either end. So it needs to be quite a long, low sideboard i just can't find anything that i really like i obviously love this wood so this is from la residence i absolutely love this table and the wood here they go together so i kind of feel like the piece needs to fit nicely there and then in winter what we try and do is move the whole of this forward so that we're right near the log burner and it's just really toasty and gorgeous i absolutely love this room it's one of my favorite rooms in the house and in winter it just is just lovely and cozy so i've just been looking at my other flowers which are in here so we've got my lovely money tree look how good this is growing it's like sprouting all over the place i feel like it needs kind of trim um it's also looking a bit wonky too not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway, look at all these new leaves that are coming through. I'm hoping that anyone knows about money trees will tell me this is a good thing. Um, so over here, I don't know why we've got so much Lego in this room. It's just appeared, all this Lego here. This faux flower arrangement needs to go too. So this is a, I think like a spring one, I'd say, with the tulips, bit of a random hydrangea in there too. So I'm gonna get, that out and put some berries, I think, and do a berry one in that. So when you try and do your faux flowers, let me get that in focus for you. You try and work in numbers like threes or fives because 
then you've got a kind of, I don't, I don't actually know why, but I think it makes it look more kind of even. And some of the berries are falling off here. I'm going to attach them. So I'm just going to attach some of these on. So I'm just literally doing in this vase, this is eucalyptus with berries. And the berries are from all different places. I've got some from Neptune here. Um, some I think are home base. And I bought some in ochre. These ones are ochre. Ochre have got some really lovely, if I try and get that in focus, I don't know if it'll work, faux flowers. They have the best. And my top tip for making your faux flower arrangement is, um, I'm going to bend this to get it to the right size. If I had some cutters, special um, faux flower cutters, that would be better. My top tip though is to use flowers from all different places. So I really like Dunelm, Home Sense. For my cheaper ones and then more expensive um neptune uh ochre they've got really good lovely quality that's if you're buying stems if you want to buy bunches then we are little buds or the suffolk's nest so i'll try and put all those links below in case you're interested at all I just need to do a few tweaks to it, but I'm really pleased with it. Let me come a bit closer so you can see. Uh, it's not quite as big as the white one, which is actually quite good because it was a bit overwhelming. It sort of took over pretty much most of the island, but I think it looks rather nice there. I've got the dried hydrangeas in the middle and then some kind of more Christmassy hydrangeas actually over there with berries. So I might have to get rid of those soon, but I think they look good. So I'm really pleased. I'm just going to do a quick video on it so that I can uh, put it up on my grid to say I'm nearly ready, apart from the fireplace, for autumn. Good morning. I am in the gym. I've just done my workout. It, it wasn't as bad as it was about two weeks ago. So I can't believe I just did it, done it. Now I'm gonna go on the Peloton, just boosting it up and getting it going. Oh my gosh, it's disconnected from the internet. So I'm gonna to have to sort this out. Anyway, I feel a lot better in myself this week. I weighed myself yesterday, I'd lost a pound and a half. Uh, we had people over for a takeaway last night, which wasn't probably the best decision but I didn't eat a lot of the sauce. I was really careful. I had a mini bottle of Prosecco. Everybody else was on the wine. I was trying to be really good. I definitely can feel like my legs feel a lot stronger, like very tight and muscly. My stomach is feeling a bit tighter. My arms are feeling much more tighter uh, on the tops and everything. So I'm feeling like I'm making some sort of progress, which is better than I felt last week, where I was just like, is this working? Um, can I be bothered, you know, and all this, but actually I'm feeling much better. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes on the bike, and then I think I'm gonna do a 20 minute walk. I'm listening to Josie's, or watching and listening, Josie's YouTube. So I just kind of keep myself busy while I'm doing it and then I don't even notice that I'm doing it. I just want to get those steps in and get the steps done so that I feel much better about myself. Anyway, so I'm on the, on the, tra on the right track. I just wanted to check in and tell you that. I know a lot of people follow my fitness journey on here and they're intrigued about this coaching that I'm doing. So I will be talking a lot more about it next week. I've just come back upstairs um, and I was thinking I want to take the tablecloth off because we had a dinner party there last night, which was lovely. I'm so tired today, what's wrong with me? I've got my autumn flowers still up, you'll be pleased to know. I'm about to make my first coffee of the day, which if you know me, you'll think, what? what's going on there? I have coffee all day and I'm trying to cut down my healthy regime, so I'm just gonna have it now. The time is now one o'clock, I'm about to start eating my lunch, I just need to make it. I'm gonna have some Greek yogurt and fruit, nuts and seeds and all those yummy things that I love. But tonight I thought I'm gonna treat myself to try this. I've just found it in the freezer. Never had it before. I think it's quite new in the cook range. 
I'm not sure what it's going to be like. But anyway, I'm going to have that with my husband with lots of salad with it. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying it. So, um, you might remember a while back, I started on this new range of creams called Abaji. I've been recommended by quite a lot of people and it happened to be where I go to get my Botox done and my Profilo, they actually stock it there in the clinic. So I went and had an appointment with Jo, who works there, and we went through my skin, we took photos of it, we talked about it, and we talked about the problem areas and what I need improving on. Uh, for me, uh, a lot is about the pigmentation, um, the uneven like colour on it, and it really showed up lots of different things on these photos. So I think about, it must have been about June time, I started using Abaji products, and I started off with just the face cream and the face wash and then the tinted moisturiser. I just thought I would go and get the products for you. So this is the cleanser. I've been using this morning and night and it's a really nice cleanser. You actually feel like your skin is really clean afterwards. So this is what I've been using since about June time. And then I've been using this cream, which is the rich moisturiser, sorry, the moisture rich cream. Um, and again, it's a really lovely moisturising cream that just sits lovely on your face. It's really, really nice. And then I've been using this product here, which is the Sun Shield. So it's got a factor 50 on it, in it, sorry. And it's like a tinted moisturiser. So I've been actually wearing that all summer and I've really liked it. It's a really nice thing, especially if you're not going to wear any makeup. It's a really lovely thing to put on your face. But also I've just been using it under my makeup too so it really protects me because it's got factor 50 so if you're looking for a new range of products i so far have been very impressed by these products but now i'm obviously going to try these two products it's going to get start getting a bit more interesting and hopefully i'll be able to see some real differences so i'm about to start my retinal journey um so this retinal cream that i'm going to use it every three days just in the evening and then this one I'm going to use morning and night. I think you have to slowly build it up so your skin gets used to it. You can't buy these products over the counter. You can't buy them in boots or other shops like that. You have to go to a proper place where they prescribe it for you. So you can Google and look up where your nearest place is. I'll put a link below to the place where I go. Jo is really good if you are looking for somebody and you're local to me, then I recommend going there. So I've just got out the shower. I'm going to try this. I'll just take the labels off. So it looks like this in the box, well, out the box, I should say. So this is the retinol cream to really cleanse my face in the shower and use the cleanser. I did a double cleanse. So I'm just pumping it out, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna have to pump it a few times to get it out. Oh, to come out. So I think it's like said a pea size amount. I think you kind of have to build it up very gradually. So I've just let that set in and then I've just got here my new derm clear it's called. So I've just pumped a little bit out here and I'm just going to moisturise it into my face. I should point out nothing is stinging or hurting. Um, I have to be really careful with my skin. I find a lot of creams really affect it. You know, they cause me to swell up or get really sore, irritated. It's quite nice this. It's like a really nice moisturiser. Lovely. So I'm just going to make sure that is really on there. And we're not going out tonight, so I'm actually just going to have this on my face tonight. We're having dinner. We are going to try and catch up. I haven't seen my husband, it feels like, in forever. So we're going to try and have a catch up and uh, talk about all the things that we need to get done. Anyway, so I've just literally put it onto my skin. You can see here all the pigmentation. The light's not great, but... I'll show you in the light next week what it's really like. Um, anyway, I'm hoping these products will really help and I will be feeding back to you over the next few weeks about what I think. I think we're gonna start to slowly add in more products for different reasons and I will tell you all about that in due course.
Cheers, sorry for that. <laughs> I've um, just uh, finished blow drying my hair. I'm gonna go and sort out dinner in a minute, but um, I'm gonna put this cream over the top. I feel like I need a bit of a moisture. Oh, cheers everybody. That's my first glass of Prosecco this week. Oh, and it's good. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of this on now. Oh, the big, rich, lovely cream. So nice really like this cream oh anyway i have a big trip tomorrow i am up early i'm off to oxford i'm going back to my old school which i'm very excited about going with some old school friends and my sister and there is a special lunch and um, kind of like a, a memorial service for one of our english teachers that would be lovely i'll try and get a little bit of a look around oxford too and show you around uh, it's one of my favourite places. It holds a lot of memories and I love going there. So I'm heading down the train, I'm just going for the day. It's going to be a long day. I'm not back till late, but um, it will be an exciting one. It'll be nice to see everybody. So I've done my hair now. I'm going to try and curl it tomorrow morning if I get time. And I'm just planning my outfit. Um, kind of want to look nice. I think the outfit I've chosen is a bit too smart. But anyway, I like being smart, don't I? morning um it's so early i'm walking to the station i managed to even curl my hair which is a miracle um i'm running because i want to get a coffee before i get on the train i think it's about a three hour train to get to oxford going by birmingham i mean and then i don't know where it's going to it must be going down like cornwall way or bristol or something so i need to go and find the right platform last time i came i sat on the wrong platform right until the train was about to arrive and then i was like oh my god Anyway, so I'm here, I've got about 10 minutes, maybe 15, um, let's hope I book the right train at the right station. This is my dyslexic problems where it all mucks up. Anyway, fingers crossed everyone that I get to Oxford um, and then I get some work done on this train too. Um, and hopefully I'll have some time when I get into Oxford to have a little look around. I've got trainers on at the moment um, and then I've got my heels and my bag, hoping that I'll be able to put them on later. I've got my lovely dress on from Hobbs um, and then I've just got an old black blazer just to keep me warm, but I'm hoping I'll take it off later so I won't need it. Oh, and I've got my beautiful necklace. Ice cream London. Love this necklace. It's the Hydrangea one. Can you see? So I've arrived and it's so good to be back. I absolutely love Oxford, it's just stunning. So I'm just gonna have a little walk around. I'm meeting my sister in a bit. She's catching the train from London. I'm gonna grab a coffee together. But I'm gonna show you around a little bit because this is possibly one of my favorite places. So. here to one of my favourite streets and there's a famous bridge called the Bridge of Sighs and I did many art projects and a photography project on it in a kind of David Hockney style a way, the way he does his photos when he joins them all together I think I have it somewhere in the garage I probably should dig it out if you would like it and hopefully we'll inspire her so here is the bridge Yeah. 
may have a very similar, if not the same one, don't quote me, in Venice, which I one day want to go to see. So this little road up here, North Parade Avenue, oh road closed, I wonder what's going on. Oh look, looks like an event or a wedding or something. This is where we used to come to buy sweets. So it had loads of little shops down there. If I had more time I'd take you down there but I'm running late. So we're back, this is my old school. We just had a reunion and it was lovely, so nice. We saw some of the old teachers and we got some photos. It Honestly, it's been the best day ever. It's so good to be back. So many memories and so much fun. I'm back, I'm absolutely shattered and it's dark now in York. I had the most amazing day. It was so nice to see my friends and catch up. Look, I'm back in York. I'm not sure if you've ever been back to your old school, but do it if you get the opportunity. It was great fun. We saw all our old teachers who look exactly the same. It's Vincent, she was so sweet. She made my first ever email address, which I still have now. Yeah, we just had such a nice time. It was so good looking around and seeing the changes that they've made and then the changes that they've not made. I was their girl there, so I saw my name on the wall and I'm gonna show my daughters something for them to aspire to. Anyway, yeah, it was just a really nice day. I've now got to go and find the car, I've got to drive home and I'm absolutely shattered. I'm hoping my husband will do something really nice for dinner because I need it. it's so late um i am picking up my daughter from my trip to where did she go autumn towers and it's really late we've had such a lazy day which has been amazing because i've felt so ill really ill not good anyway i'm listening to this podcast it's really good i've got a great range of podcasts on here which i thought i would just show you if i could go back in case you are looking for podcasts to listen to i'm just trying to think of some good ones for you these people i love jfdi the two lauras i also quite like this manifestation one where is it this one it's called the manifestation collective it's really good victoria anyway i've just been doing this fast feast fast feast and repeat 
I love the, the blogosphere. Happy place. But anyway, I've just been going through and sorting out my podcast before she comes uh, back. Uh, and then I'm going to go and get an early night. I'm really not feeling 100%. The cold has hit me, everyone. Oh. Good evening. I'm signing off for tonight. I'm absolutely shattered and still not feeling 100% at all. Oh, these be roses are beautiful, aren't they? I love how they've folded out like that. Oh, I'm so tired. So I'm going to get an early night tonight. We've got a busy week ahead next week. I've got some busy, crazy things going on, which I don't quite know how I'm going to achieve. But anyway, follow along and you will find out and uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and see you all next week